my name is Stephanie and I work here at the Tennessee Aquarium as an educator. And today we are meeting the Madagascar hissing cockroach. So just like their name, um, they are endemic to Madagascar, meaning you cannot find them anywhere else in the world except at zoos and aquariums. Um, and what makes them cool is also in their name. They hiss. Um, they're not making a sound with their mouth. All insects have spiracles on the side of their body, basically little holes that help them breathe, right? Air goes in and into their body, but they can actually push air out and that's what makes that hissing noise. In nature, right, a hissing roach would be probably a nice juicy snack for something a little bigger. So in order, in order to deter predators and scare them away, they make that loud hissing noise. Um, they also have little spines on their legs um, to scare off a predator. They're a little sharp. Roaches in general, they are decomposers. So basically if there is something out in nature like a fruit or a leaf or an animal that is decaying, um, they go in and they actually recycle all the nutrients because everything in nature is filled with nutrients. Madagascar hissing roaches are sexually dimorphic. So it's a fancy way of saying the male and female look a little different. So you can see the male on this hand, he has these knobs on the top, and this female does not. But what's really cool is that females are ovoviparous. So again, another fancy way of saying the eggs are internal and she gives birth to live roaches. So roaches are not as spooky as we think. Um, you know, they're kind of that frontline defense for our forests. They're making sure all these nutrients are getting back in to keep everything and everyone healthy. I know they might look, you know, not as cute as certain things, but they have a very important job and, and they do it well. <laughs>